Okay, so after I got really badly rejected by all of my uh, colleagues and peers at the conference, I decided to come down to, um, I've completely forgotten what it's called. Oh, hang on, hang on. <laughs> We've got a whopper on its way. I decided to come down to a place called Shaw Acres because it's quite obviously quite famous for this massive crashing wave that's blasting up against these rocks. I was shooting this about 20 minutes ago and there was this gap in the clouds so all of these, these cliffs were bathed in lovely hot sunlight and then they had these dark storm clouds in the distance. That's my favourite kind of light. And as, as we've been doing in the last week with all these waves that we've been shooting, We've been trying to get super fast shutter speeds. What are you at, Blake? Yeah. Shutter speed, four seconds. Yeah. How are you doing? And when it hits that rock, it's, it's kind of like a nuclear explosion going off. Well, I've got a few, a few shots of that with better light than I've got right now. So I think right now I'm going to try and face the opposite direction and get this other arrangement of rocks with waves crashing in. Let's see if we can get some backlight on all of that spray. Oh, missed it. <laughs> Yabber into the bloody camera. Too much camera. talking, yeah. <laughs> that I did inside Fingal's Cave on the Isle of Staffa. I was doing this kind of photography where it was waves coming into a cave, but this is like a whole different scale. This is like multiplied by 1,000. And the drama and the power and the fury of these waves, I've never seen anything quite like it. And to be able to capture this moment, which is not that common, is really quite a privilege. Oh, look at that! Oh, oh God! Oh. 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 I just can't get over it. Everywhere I look, there is just amazing scenery kicking off. These waves are huge! Look at that! Oh. I've got to keep... Uh, oh, can I borrow the cloth? Thanks, look. I've got, in fact, I'll just, I'll just give you that. So there's so much spray that I've got to keep uh, wiping the, the lens every, every few minutes. But, uh, and I, I'm not even bothering with a, a circular polarizer. I don't want anything on the lens that slows down the shot because I'm shooting at very fast shutter speeds. Oh, here we go. Oh my God. Just amazing. I've had to crank the ISO a little bit to ISO 400, but as that sun pops out periodically, I can turn the ISO down, get a little bit better image quality. Oh my God. And I am going through memory cards faster than that camera goes through Sony batteries. Uh, I think I'm on the fourth memory card now because I'm shooting high speed continuous bursts and it just eats through my memory card. But I don't want to miss that perfect moment. Ooh. So my plan with these shots, <clears throat> my plan with these shots is to, oh, I, I can't stop glaring at it. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I'm like a kid in a candy store. My plan with these shots, because I'm taking so many, I should end up with a, a wealth of different wave positions. Because what I love is when, when the wave crashes and it hits the rock, and you get that ginormous explosion. Well, I like that, but I also like to see the next wave on its way in. Because you can see, oh, here it comes. It's that sense of doom, that sense of danger. sense of danger and awe was palpable that day and I did have to be told more than once to stop being such an idiot and to move back to a safer spot. 
How often do you get this? Epic light and winds that give you absolutely tremendous. <laughs> look at that. Just look at those waves. It's just unbelievable. So we're, we're shooting like lunatics, filling up our buffers. In fact, I think I've, I've just brimmed my memory card. So now I'm going to have to put a new memory card in. There's probably 3,000 images in the last few, few minutes. But we don't want to miss the shot. We don't want to miss the ideal shot. There's a rainbow off in the right there. It, it's just all come together. It's absolutely amazing. <laughs> Oh. So I'm supposed to be vlogging this, but I, I just I can't I can't focus on getting the right shot and that perfect moment in time and talk nonsense to the camera. Jeez. Obviously, with a scene like this, every, everybody here is shooting in high-speed continuous burst just to get that perfect moment. We don't want to miss that split second. Where the perfect motion hits. Nick Page told me to shoot at, at four second exposures for this, and he's telling me fast. Don't listen to Nick Page, whatever you do. I know. Over there, he told me to shoot at one eight thousand and not worry about my highlights. He told me to put a 10 stop ND filter on for this. I'm shooting with an aperture of f8 because it's super sharp on this lens, and I want quite a bit of. Um, depth of field, but not. I don't need to stop down to like f16 or anything like that. It's very, very bright light, so I can get away with that. I don't need to shoot wide open. My ISO is at 100, and I'm playing around with different shutter speeds. So one 640th of a second to a thousandth of a second it gives me a nice variation of motion capture blur. I just cheated off of him and took all those settings. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start auctioning off SD cards. <laughs> and see who the highest bid is going to be. Because th this is once in a lifetime opportunity. How often do you get these conditions? Well, Nick, how often do you get these conditions? This is literally like once, I don't know, three times a year probably, something like that. Yeah. Like this does not happen. And usually these kind of conditions are joint, are, they, they happen with like sideways rain and tons oh. of wind and rain. And we have, not only do we have these big waves, but we got good light and that just, yeah. It's very rare, very rare. And it could get even better. I mean, when we first got here, it, it didn't look like there was going to be any chance. <laughs> it didn't look like there was going to be any chance of good light. And within about an hour and 20 minutes, all you need is that little gap. It's perfect. <laughs> Just photogasmed all over the place through this. I just love that contrast between the white, that stark white of the spray against those grey clouds in the background. <laughs> good timing, good timing. And I'm desperate for a pee, as is normal for me. But I just don't want to leave, so I might just have to wet myself. It wouldn't be the first time. Okay, the rain is really thick and the park warden is now kicking us out of the park, so we've got to go, but I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I got the shot. This wasn't the biggest wave that I shot that day. It wasn't even the second biggest, but the reason I chose this image is because of that spectacular light that showed up for about 10 minutes. The Oregon coast is just full of amazing photo opportunities for landscape photographers, whether you like big waves or small ones. The magic that thaws well on the Oregon coast as my landscape photography conference wrapped up, I said goodbye to my peers and headed south to avoid my stalker. I've got to tell you, the other day, those luminosity mask tips, I, I feel like I kind of know what I'm doing now, okay. so thanks a bunch for that. You're so well. It's really I'm helpful. Glad to do it. And it's yeah. nice to work with one of my heroes. Oh, this wow. is Sean Bagshaw. Yeah. 
Hey! <laughs> Mark! Hey. How you doing, mate? How's it going? I haven't seen you for a hey. while. Hey, how you been, man? I know, it's been Good a long time. It's been yeah. a few months, you well, know? What's been going on? Well, you know, since we did those two vlogs, my, my channel really took off. I've, yeah? I've been doing so yeah, I, I bought myself a new vlogging camera. Um, you know, it's pretty good. It's a little heftier, but you know, it gets the job done. Really, really good quality. And uh, you handled yeah, yeah. that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, well, actually, I, you know, I actually, I got a film crew uh, oh. since then. So here, here that you makes go, total Joe. Sense, right? Yeah, you actually, can... we're trying to film kind of like some serious yeah. stuff. So this is like internet stuff you guys are doing. Yeah. If uh, we can have quiet on set. All right. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. We were trying to film right here. So, you know, I know you, you guys are always joking around. It's really awesome. Hey, you we know. got we're we're running it daily. Okay, all right, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, I, I didn't realize we were ruining your gig. Like, gotta shove yeah. off there. Who who's this then? Oh, this is uh, this is my you know director and, and filmer uh, Joseph. You, you got a you got a director now? Yes. You know the little vlogging, it just wasn't really, you know, you know what I mean, right? Yeah. Uh, big leagues now, then is it? Eh? Yeah. You know, I just with the vlogging and I just you know we we thought add a little production to it, you know? It's not the big leagues, it's just like real film. Uh, not right, real like film. internet. Yeah. The, oh, right. Oh, yeah, right. right. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, like, are you guys still gonna work with me though? Are we still gonna do stuff together? Oh, I was thinking maybe just show up. We, we were thinking maybe, you know, we lo you know, we love this, all the stuff that you're doing. Yeah. You got your own thing going on, it's really great. And I was thinking maybe Sean might fit the vibe of, of what we're trying to do a little bit more. It's just the funny fart stuff. It's too much? It's, it's too for, crass? It's for kids. All right. We're kind of about nature. And beauty. And art, I guess. Photography is really serious, it's man. It's really serious, yeah. There's yeah. nothing to joke about. I guess I'll just leave you to it. I mean, this is your set after all, isn't it, right? Yeah. Just, yeah. just maybe like 100 feet that way is, yeah. All right, I'll, okay. I'll see you on the internet then, eh? Okay. I'll, I'll pick you up later. Yeah, right, cheers, yeah, Sean. All right, Michael, we can get this yeah, done? Yeah, Sean. All right, so what are we doing? All right, All right guys. Yeah. Let's film something for Sean real. Sean Bagshaw, everyone. Hey, guys, Sean how's Bagshaw. How's it going? We're here, we're going to do some landscape photography. We just had to take care of some things. But yeah, we're on location, and uh, yeah. let's go shoot some let's images, man. Let's do it. Man. Do it. All right. Let's do it. All right. Excuse me. Can I buy a tripod? Quiet, quiet, quiet. Quiet on. Yeah. Quiet on set. Rolling. Jesus, All right. man. I know, right? All right, back to it. Uh, I lost my creative inspiration. I hope that, uh, that Amanda doesn't start following me around, but I'm driving all the way down to uh, Samuel H. Bob, and she, she probably, won't, probably won't go that far. But um, when Michael Shanebloom and I were here a couple of months ago, uh, shooting the Milky Way, we never, we did get the Milky Way, but we never quite got a really good um, sunset, which is what I really wanted. That's where I'm headed today. Perhaps Michael and his new best buddy will be there as well, I don't know, but uh, hopefully not. I can just do my own thing. Hopefully that stalker doesn't show up. On my way south, I had to make multiple stops to take in the spectacular scenery. The Oregon coast is a treasure trove for landscape photographers. I really enjoyed scouting out some new compositions and enjoying a few precious moments of solitude. My ultimate destination was the Samuel H. Boardman Scenic Corridor, but I stopped off at Bandon Beach and what a surprise. Look who I bumped into. All right, rolling, quiet on set. So we're here at Bandon Beach and we have some amazing conditions to work with. Birds are flying, giant waves, incredible sea stacks. I'm so excited to get started shooting. It's going to be an awesome day. And so I'm here at ba Bandon Beach and it's, it's absolutely brilliant. The conditions here are perfect. We've hey. got waves. Hey, what are you doing? Just vlogging. What are you doing? Oh, well, we're trying to film a video. Yeah, I'm trying to film a video too. Yeah, oh. okay. Do you even have a permit to work in this country? You're not, I'm not working. This is it's just vlogging. It's not, it's not working. We're trying to make serious videos here. I mean, we logged all this gear out here. Look, I'm trying to make a serious video with me. Osmo Pocket. Yeah, I mean, what, for your mom? Yeah, I make videos for my mom. Anyway, listen. You can't forget who helped you get here, Mike. Now that you're in the big leagues, it's not all about you, is it, mate? Look, we asked you for 100 feet at all times. 100 feet at all times. What are you gonna do? Lawyer up. 
Ashley Michael? He's right up there. Yeah, we got Ian Plant up there. Ian Plant. You got Ian Plant? Yeah. You owe me some money. Alright, well, I'll see you later somewhere. Where are you going next? 100 feet. Who does he think he is with his giant vlogging rig and his crew? How am I supposed to compete with that? All I had was a broken spasmo rocket and a dyslexic GoPro. Anyway, at least when I arrived at Secret Beach, I had the entire place to myself for once. It's got to be the least secret secret beach in existence, but there's nothing quite like having a popular location all to yourself. This is one of my absolute favourite locations and I've been here for about five minutes. I've been scoping out a few compositions. Where I want to get is a little bit dangerous because the waves are just crashing in. And today it's weird because I've got this kind of eerie, creepy feeling. It's almost like the hairs on the back of my neck are standing on end. You know, kind of like when somebody's watching you. I've seen an epic composition just right over there. So let's go and check it out. I knew that I wouldn't have this place to myself for very long. So I got busy setting up my gear. And even though the light was pretty harsh, I figured I'd get myself in position so that I could claim my spot. And everything was going really well until Shane Bloom showed up with half of Hollywood. It didn't take long before I got pushed out again. Hey Gavin. Yeah? Is this your bag? So I just made it to Secret Beach and uh, oh man, I'm so excited to share this moment with you guys. You know, uh, vlogging is awesome. It's, it's kind of like this way where, you know, we can show you where we are and it's really natural. Uh, man, and I got a new vlogging setup. It's, it's actually pretty lightweight in comparison to my other setup. I recall saying out loud, I wish their camera would die. And like a miracle. Well, I've come up to this lovely little cliff edge and the weather has completely changed. I don't even know if I'm gonna get a shot. It might be a complete bust. Hey, Gavin. All right, guys, uh, where's your big fancy new vlogging rig, then, eh? Kind of smashed into a bunch of pieces. Ooh, yeah, it fell over. You know, I was wondering, you know, maybe, maybe it's, Maybe you'd let me use your GoPro to, to film something, you know. Oh, you want the GoPro now, do you? Eh, this is good enough for you now, is it, Mike? Is it? Is it? Yeah. Yeah? You, you really pissed me off, Mike. I felt inadequate next to you guys. But, you know, we had a, a big camera. Are you wearing sandals? Oh. Yeah, I, well, you know, I talking a lot about appropriate footwear. Yeah. I just thought it was pretty cool, so I kind of took the lead. So, what you're saying, what I'm hearing, Mike, is that I was an inspiration to you. Very much so. Yeah? Yeah. And uh, what about you, Joe? I, I think you'll be wearing sandals anytime soon? Yeah. I yelled at him in the parking lot for not for not bringing him out. Well, as you should, I mean. Yeah. That's not appropriate footwear, clearly. No, uh, no, no. No. I would you. Well, I tell you what, you know, in light of your apology, and uh, the fact that I'm somewhat flattered that you find me inspirational, and if not a hero figure, generally in life, I'll let you use my GoPro for a short while. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Thanks, Gavin. Yeah, I know you're looking. <laughs> uh, the battery is flat. Uh, if you want the batteries, you're gonna have to give me those samples. You're gonna have to go there for them. My samples? Yeah, I'll need them now. I, uh, you know, yeah. I don't fit your vibe. It's funny farts like this. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as you said farts, I was done. <laughs> Big leagues now, then, is it? Eh? Uh, but no time for small guys like me, though, eh? <laughs> this is just like 
real film, oh. not internet film. Yeah, you, you know. can't laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was a. I like that. That was a burn. That was good. That was like You're a, nailing it. You're like <laughs> photography is really serious, it's man. Really serious. Yeah. There's nothing to joke about. <laughs> <laughs> Just like a hundred feet that way. <laughs> <laughs> um, just <laughs> okay. All right, hold on. Yeah, well, so am I. <laughs> well, it's not all about you, Michael. You know, some of us have got to earn a crust too. We can't all carry a massive film crew around and be all gangsters. <laughs> So I'm here at ba Bandon Beach, and it's, it's absolutely brilliant. The conditions here are perfect. We've hey. got waves. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Do you notice how I'm... <laughs> hey. <laughs> I'm it's like facing the other direction. It's like... <laughs> hey. What are you doing? <laughs> Sorry, yeah, but we're trying to make a video. I'm trying to make a video. It's not all about you, Michael. <laughs> so we're trying to make a serious video here. We, we were first. We were here first. That's a good point, actually. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're trying to make a serious video. Well, I'm trying to make a serious video, too. Look, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> and then you fought it. <laughs> I'll straighten it up again. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm trying to make a serious video, too, with the Osmo. Does that thing even work? <laughs> Sorry, one more. One more. All I can think of is does it even work? It doesn't work. It does work. work. It's not all about you. I know you've got a big posh film crew now with a fancy camera and all that gubbins. But, you know, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Do you have the permit? Do you have the I permit? permit? Yeah. The permit right here. I have the permit right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, uh, I better go. <laughs> we got you a plan. Just a little smile. Yeah. Don't, don't be shitty old GoPro, do you? Hey. You yeah. Want, you want me shitty? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really, really hurt my feelings that you just f***ing shat all over my pathetic rig. Are you laughing? <laughs>